What's the minimum wage at Costco? Which roles at the company earn the most money? And why do employees get given turkeys as perks? Keep watching for the answers to these questions and more. You might assume that most Costco cashiers aren't in it for the long haul. That's because, while it's obviously not bad work, a Costco job would usually be seen as more of a stopgap job than a full-blown career. This is a challenge for retailers like Costco because employee retention is an incredibly important aspect of a successful business model, and the cost of employee turnover can be incredibly high. After all, it's expensive in both dollars and time to search for, hire, and train a competent employee. We think we're a good place to work. We pay benefits, uh, we've got great people, we want people to stay for the long term. One of the strategies Costco uses to retain good employees is to pay frontline workers well above the national minimum wage. For example, Costco raised its minimum wages from $16 to $17 in October 2021, while simultaneously providing bumps in pay for supervisors. What's remarkable about this decision is that this bump in minimum wage came less than a year after the company's previous one-buck bump in the minimum wage, which occurred in February 2021. Moves like this make it clear that the company is watching, listening, and responding to the needs of the industry and its employees. Costco evidently understands that, in order to keep good employees, they have to reward them for their service. A solid minimum wage is certainly an excellent start. Determining the average hourly wage for any given company can be difficult, and this goes doubly for one as large as Costco. Things get even trickier when the company is continually assessing and adjusting its minimum wages for all employees, making older, self-reported employee wages essentially moot. For example, if an employee self-reported a minimum wage of $13 an hour in 2018 but subsequently received four $1 raises, bumping his or her hourly wage up to $17 per hour, the earlier information would greatly underestimate the actual average. Nevertheless, Payscale, a third-party aggregator of self-reported employee wages, notes that the average hourly wage for Costco employees is just over $18 per hour. This number obviously isn't something to scoff at, but it's important to note that much of Payscale's data comes from information sourced before the minimum wage pay increases of 2018, 2019, and 2021. It can be reasoned, then, that the average hourly wage is even higher. In fact, in February 2021, Costco's CEO Craig Jelinek claimed that the average hourly wage for employees was $24 per hour, and this was before the two $1 increases logged in 2021. In the world of skyrocketing healthcare costs and wavering government support of universal health insurance, the concept of health benefits for all employees is practically unheard of in the United States. Yet, former Costco employee Megan De Maria revealed in an article for Yahoo Life that all full and part-time employees at Costco are eligible for benefits, including health insurance. Part-time employees also qualify if they work for an average of 23 hours per week or more. The dollar value of this employee benefit is incredibly significant and shouldn't be downplayed when it comes to an employee's total salary package. Ka-ching! Ka-ching! <laughs> According to Forbes, employee benefits account for approximately 32% of employee compensation, with employee salaries accounting for 68%. In other words, if an employer is funding health insurance and other benefits, those are dollars that the employee doesn't have to spend out of pocket, essentially increasing his or her total wage by potentially thousands, even if this wage isn't felt in take-home pay. A starting hourly wage of $17 per hour looks a lot more appealing than the federal minimum wage of $7.25 per hour. And while take-home pay is obviously an important part of an employee benefits package, you don't want to ignore other benefits either. The cost of employer-provided health insurance is an obvious example, but retirement funds matched by the employer is another way smart companies can recruit and retain good employees. Costco auto-enrolls all of its workers in a company 401k plan, offering 50 cents on the dollar match to employee contributions, up to $500 total. Costco employees who reviewed this benefit on Glassdoor seemed to like the system, and some noted that employees can contribute up to 10% of their total salary to their 401k each pay period, although this appears to vary based on tenure with the company. 
This benefit can certainly add up to a nice retirement, though, so it's not a shabby bonus by any measure. In addition to the bonuses you might find in a typical benefits package, Costco also extends a number of smaller perks to its employees. These may not come with big price tags, but they help give the company just a few more selling points for potential employees. For instance, all employees are given free turkeys for Thanksgiving. They also receive a free executive membership to the store, which clocks in at a value of $120. The real value to this executive membership can be much greater, though. Holders of the Gold Star Executive Membership receive a 2% reward up to $1,000 on all qualified Costco purchases, discounts on Costco services, and free roadside assistance for vehicles covered through Costco's auto insurance program. It's hard to put an exact dollar amount on the overall savings employees receive with these perks, but they certainly offer another way that Costco can help reduce its employees' overall cost of living. Depending on the company you work for, you may be accustomed to receiving holidays off work, such as Thanksgiving, Christmas, or New Year's Day. Or if you do have to work, you may receive holiday or overtime pay for working days that others spend celebrating with their families. However, in the United States, holiday pay isn't a guarantee unless you have a contract that stipulates as much. And yet, Costco makes special pay a regular thing. No matter the job, no matter the total number of hours worked per week, Costco offers all of its employees time and a half pay every single Sunday that they're scheduled to work. This means that if a part-time Costco employee normally receives $17 per hour, they'll automatically receive $25.50 per hour on Sundays, $8.50 more than usual. I need a vacation. <laughs> According to a Reddit user claiming to be a Costco employee, after one year and 2,000 hours, the company rewards its employees with 40 hours of paid vacation, or the equivalent of one week. But Costco's vacation policy isn't static, often improving with prolonged time at the company. After two years of service, paid vacation is increased to two weeks per year, and after five years of service, it goes up to three weeks per year. There's also good news for employees who are dedicated to making a career at the company. After 10 years of service, Costco grants four weeks of vacation per year, and after 15 years of service, that goes up again to five weeks of vacation per year. If you're a Costco employee who has been with the company for that long, not only do you get five weeks, you'd also enjoy between eight to 10 paid holidays, plus any sick days you need to take based on your ongoing accrual. All in all, you could be looking at the equivalent of around two paid months off work per year. Again, the dollar equivalent for this benefit is hard to work out, as it varies based on the employee's status, tenure, and whether the vacation or sick time is actually used. That said, third-party aggregator website Comparably estimates that the combined value of Costco's paid time off and benefits packages average between $1,000 and $1,500 per month per employee. For employees who work their way up to becoming a store's general manager, the payoff in compensation is significant. Pat Callens, executive vice president of administration at Costco, told Reader's Digest in January 2020 that the average annual salary for a Costco general manager in the United States was $138,000. Obviously, that's enough to support a comfortable living in most cities around the country but they can actually earn even more. Callens went on to explain that managers can earn bonuses and stock-based compensation that far surpass the regular take-home pay. In fact, he claimed that most GMs earn about triple the annual salary when these other factors are taken into account. As such, a GM might receive closer to $400,000 per year when all is said and done. Of course, running a Costco can't be an easy job considering you'd need to manage employees, inventory, quality assurance, and customer satisfaction. And you'd have to be able to effectively manage the stressors that go along with running a large retailer. Costco seems to be aware of these challenges, though, and in order to hire and keep good employees, they prioritize compensating them well. It's obvious that positions requiring special training or skills can expect to be hired at a slightly higher hourly rate or, in some cases, may be offered a full-time annual salary. Examples of these positions include cake decorators, tire technicians, 
travel agents, and photo lab technicians. The higher starting wage makes sense, of course. A college student waltzing in off the street without any prior training can't just start changing tires or developing photos professionally, and you probably don't want a newbie to decorate your grandma's birthday cake. So if you happen to have the training or skills necessary to be hired into one of these positions, you can expect your experience to be rewarded with a slightly higher wage than the minimum salary. Costco is known for offering pretty great deals in its pharmacy, and with a steady stream of customers heading to the retail giant specifically for this purpose, the company wants to keep its pharmacy employees happy. Of course, it's not just pharmacists that work within the pharmacy. There are also pharmacy technicians and pharmacy cashiers. Pay rates vary according to the role, with pharmacy managers averaging over $137,000 per year, technicians making almost $52,000 per year, pharmacy interns making roughly $20 per hour, and pharmacy cashiers making closer to Costco's minimum wage. Costco's pharmacists earn roughly $75 per hour, which amounts to a solid six-figure annual salary. Obviously, not just anyone can be hired into these roles. They require a specific education and training, and as such, these employees receive significantly more compensation. Really, all of Costco's healthcare-based employees can expect to receive a significant salary. For instance, opticians can expect to make over $20 an hour, or even closer to $30, depending on licensing and experience. It doesn't matter if you're using a forklift or driving a truck, those who hold the appropriate certifications for operating various vehicles can expect to be compensated well. This higher payment comes, in part, from the expense of receiving the appropriate training and certifications to take on these positions. But it's also a result of these positions carrying more risk than that of a standard store clerk. It's obvious that navigating in and around a giant warehouse with a forklift, for example, takes practice and skill. I'm just gonna put this over there! This is not a good idea right here. As such, the people who learn how to safely do this type of driving enjoy a bump in pay as a result. Likewise, the men and women who are willing to drive hundreds of miles each day on America's highways to make deliveries, often while spending time away from family and friends, are well compensated for their efforts. According to self-reported salaries listed on Glassdoor, Costco forklift drivers make an average of $26 per hour and truck drivers average about $67,000 per year. According to the most current information provided by Costco, the retail giant employs more than 288,000 workers worldwide. Many of those positions are in-store roles, but they hire for numerous corporate jobs as well. These include careers in marketing, human resources, customer service, merchandising, journalism, the list goes on and on. The overall pay of any given Costco employee varies based on the position in question, the number of hours and years worked, and the level of education or training a position requires. In general, though, Costco makes every effort to compensate its employees well, which is reflected in how its employees review the company. Costco has a 4.1 star rating on Glassdoor and an impressive 90% approval rating of Costco's CEO, Craig Jelinek. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Mashed videos about Costco are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.